All right, welcome to part two of the uh, Swept Away Sentimental Version. Um, in the first half of the video, you learn how to play this. So, from there, um, you're going to hammer on, you get these fingers in parallel, and you've just been on these strings in parallel, now you're just going to go over to these two, which is the A and G strings in parallel, uh, on both on the second fret, and you're going to hammer on, you're going to pluck the, the A and the G, and hammer on to both of them. Uh, yeah, and... Sounds weird when it's by itself, but... Then after that, you get you go back up to the 5th fret with your ring finger, and uh, your 2nd fret of the B string with your pointer finger, and you're, gonna, and you're gonna pluck the B, the G, and the low E, and then pull off on the B. And then just kinda... Then, so. And I like to slide down there. And then just kind of pull off, slide down, and pull off. Um, and just kind of. How to explain these pick patterns? I'm sorry, I can't do that any better. But and then you do this again. This time you don't put your pointer finger down. This is a much more devilish thing to do because this is what's because in the recording one of them's doing this. Um, second time, but one of them is going, um, and so, what you kind of have to do is, in order to try to do both, you have to go, get your uh, ring, middle finger over there on the uh, fourth fret of the B string, then while it's still down, um, you play this open low E and do a uh, 5 to 2 to open double pull off on the G string. That's a tough little move to get down there, particularly since it involves your ring finger. And then you just get this going, in. but then you're home free after that, so that's like the last hurdle. Um, so. starts and my voice sounds like crap right now but um, so that's the introduction to swept away sentimental version um, all that put together let me uh, I'll, I'll play through the whole thing the whole introduction just really slowly one time and you can you can play along with that um, before you get it up to speed so uh, here's that
verse is just Well you set my life a whirling Darling when you're twirling This should look familiar because it's the same thing On the floor One more is tomorrow, then blue, and you in LA. Yeah, you swept me away. Then after the first verse, there's this little interlude thing, which is what I'm going to go over now. And this, this is particularly tricky, uh, and this took me a particularly long time to figure out because this part is where it's the most pronounced use of, of two guitars to do different things. Um, but I think I've got a, a pretty good way to do it. So the interlude, it starts out similarly to the introduction, it goes. Mm. Let me try this one, let me try it again. I'm gonna get it. So, it, I mean, you can see, it's like, I can't hardly get it, um, but, so it starts out the same way with this. Just like the intro, but then it goes, slide up to the fifth fret from the second fret on the low E with your ring finger. Then you're going to fret the second fret of the G string with your pointer finger and the fifth fret of the B string with your pinky finger. alternating bass going, and then hammer on to both of these. That's the hardest part of it right there, is you gotta, gotta lay that, you gotta lay your pinky down flat part way through. And if you can get that move, you're pretty much set, but that's tough. take some practice and then you gotta pull your ring finger over real quick mm. that notes in there that's a weird note but it's in there we've seen this before so um, sorry I didn't explain the second half of that very well uh, these two fingers in parallel here on the third fret of the uh, E string and the G string. And that's... That's uh, first and second fret. this time it's I see the end of the rainbow all right cool oh wait a minute the end of the song I haven't done that yet gosh there's so much of this and it's all kind of similar but all a little bit different